Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Magic Arena Explorer video. So today, Outlaws of Thunder Junction is here, new cards in the format. This is very exciting, there's a whole plethora of new cards between the main set, the uh, breaking news special guests, and the uh, and the kind of bonus sheet as well, um, the 30 cards that were supposed to be part of the Aftermath set. So yeah, there's uh, a lot going on and plenty of new stuff to be excited about. So we're starting relatively simple um, for this first video, and we're playing some Boros Wizards, um, very similar to Boros Burn as well, so you will kind of recognise quite a lot of overlap between those two strategies. But crucially, we are playing uh, my pick for what I think is the best new card in the uh, set um, for the format, which is Slickshot Showoff. So this is a 1-2 two for 2, Bird Wizard that has Flying and Haste, and whenever you cast a non-creature non spell it gets plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn. So that's pretty good all by itself, you know, it's a big evasive creature that uh, if you're casting cheap instants and sorceries will very quickly kind of turn the corner and win the game. Um, but it also has plot for one and a red, so uh, so we can kind of set it up to cast it later, um, and then we don't have to spend the two mana casting the spell. We can cast it for free if we've plotted it in an earlier turn, and uh, and then use that mana instead to pump it up with spells. Um, so very quickly, just burn the opponent out of the game. And then the other new card we're playing, which is new to Arena, so new to Explorer, but not uh, not a new card um, in the format, was already legal in Pioneer, but is Skullcrack. So this is a good burn spell, a very popular burn spell, so one and a red for an instant. Players can't gain, this, gain life this turn, damage can't be prevented this turn, and it deals three damage to target player or planeswalker, so very good at uh, responding to the opponent att attempting to gain life, just hitting them for more damage, um, kind of fulfilling the role that you might see Boros Charm do in a Pioneer version of this deck. Um, so yeah, that is that. And then we have our other burn spells as well with Lightning Helix, Wizard's Lightning, and then obviously Play with Fire and Light up the Stage. So Light up the Stage, not a burn spell, but uh, a spectacle card, which if we cast it for one red is a pretty cheap way of essentially drawing two cards. So very popular in these kind of mono red uh, aggro strategies. And then in terms of our other creatures, so because we are running Wizard's Lightning, um, as well as our Slickshot Showoff, we have uh, four copies of Soul Scar Mage, so the 1-2 prowess that uh, turns your non-combat damage to creatures into minus one, minus one counters, and Gitu Lava Runner, so we have a decent number of wizards that just make sure that uh, more often than not our wizard's lightning is turned on um, and is, is functionally just a lightning bolt and costs one red mana. Um, but we are also running four copies of Monastery Sithbeer, um, obviously a very good uh, red aggro creature, one, two, haste and prowess, and then four bone crusher giants as well. Um, so obviously is both a burn spell which can be used to trigger show off, but also later a very kind of cheap and uh, powerful creature, four, three, that costs the opponent life to deal with. So that's uh, that's obviously very good, sees a lot of play in many decks, um, so we do have that as well. And then our mana base, so unsurprisingly it's a pretty uh, low number of lands, we are running 20 lands, so a decent number of uh, dual lands just because we do want to be able to reliably cast our lightning helixes for den of the bugbear so we do have that additional creature um attacking capability three ramanap, ramanap ruins very good if the game goes long to just do some additional damage to the opponent one basic mountain so that is the main deck, as I say, pretty uh, standard Boros aggro, but with a couple of interesting new cards. Then, ah yes, the sideboard. So the sideboard is bugged, um, unsurprisingly, as usually happens when the uh, developers deploy an update to this game, other bits of it just break. So although the sideboard, as you can see, does have 15 cards in it, we can't actually see what they are. So I have written them down um, here, so uh, so I can just talk you through them. Uh, you can see one copy of some of them is visible here. So we're running four Eidolon of the Great Revel, so this is a good way of uh, dealing with opponents who are playing lots of cheap spells. You bring that in, um, and it just kind of deals them a lot of damage. Obviously it is symmetrical, so it will do us damage as well, so that is something we'll have to bear in mind. But generally we will be uh, burning the opponent out quicker than, uh, than the Eidolon triggers affecting us has an impact. Then we've got one end of festivities, so just a good sweeper for dealing with uh, opponents uh, who are playing lots of cheap creatures, so Lanoir Elves, that kind of thing, or Boris Convoke runs a lot of cheap creatures. Three get lost, so taking advantage of the fact that this deck runs white mana, so this uh, is a... Uh, 
two mana instant destroys any creature enchantment or planeswalker does turn the opponent it does give the opponent two maps but hopefully a deck like this um, we will have killed them before they can uh, kind of get the the value off those cards anyway then we've got four copies of Roiling Vortex, so that's the card that deals one damage to each player in their upkeep. If an opponent tries to cast a spell with zero which with zero mana, it deals five damage to them, and you can pay red to stop them gaining life um, as well. I did that from memory, so well done me. And then three copies of Searing Blood as well, um, two red for uh, instant, which deals two damage to target creature, and when that creature dies this turn it deals three damage to the opponent, so a good way of just dealing with a creature but also getting those burn hits in on our opponent and just keeping their life total ticking down steadily. Um, so you will see those hopefully um, when we go to actually sideboard during the games, but in the meantime you can just pretend. And yeah, that is the deck. Boros Wizards, new cards. It's very exciting. So hit those like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already, because there's plenty more to come. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let's go on to the ladder. Okay, first match is underway, and we are on the play. Everything's coming up Millhouse. This is a reasonably good hand. The light up the stage is probably going to do some work for us here. Okay, well... Wouldn't be celebrating too early if I'm you. Uh, let's just play Dead of the Bugbear here, and then follow up with a Ramanap Ruins next turn. Actually, plot is probably quite a good um, thing to use against control decks because it can't be countered when you plot it, and then on the turn you choose to go off. Obviously, they're having to do having to deal with a lot more. Um, so yeah, that's worth bearing in mind. So let's have a soul scar, mate. Well, let's attack first. Stomp their face. Fair enough. So a new card from them, Phantom Interference. Interesting, so uh, kind of bad memory lapse and then, mm, okay, potentially a creature as well or instead. Okay, so Wizard's Lightning is now online. So I'm not sure what the opponent's up to here. Some form of is it deck could be, is it control? Is it control? It's a very old joke, I know, but. I've got to fill the time somehow while they're in the tank. I went to the dentist today for the first time in ages and ew, my teeth feel very weird. They gave them a proper good, uh, good clean. Life updates from Nick Button. Well, let's put a stop on our upkeep. Okay, they've gone for a thing. Hit them with a play with fire, which we can then scry and see what we're going to draw. Hi, Fibblethip. And I think the opponent's gone for a lie down. I mean, 
I mean, it really wasn't that bad news, surely. Oh, yes. Let's go to our draw. I mean, the opponent's not really here, so... Uh, may as well do some stuff. And now they're pretty much dead, whatever they do, because... Even if they somehow wipe the board, I'll just ram an app ruins them. Or I could tell if the bug bear them doesn't really matter. I mean, they're not here anyway, but... What an uninteresting first match. Oh well, what am I even going to call it? Is it unknown? Is it spells? We'll call it is it spells. We saw a spell. One spell. Cool. Okay. Well, if they kill my Swift Spear, this is not a great hand, but as we're on the play, let's take the risk. Excellent, okay. So then let's play light up the stage. Vantage. Another Swift Spear. Now we have an opportunity to cast a Wizard's Lightning. Okay, it's probably Vampires, I would imagine. Yes, it is. Okay. So, uh, do I care about that? I don't think I do, so I'm going to ignore it. Simply hope they don't cast uh, Sorin into Vein Ripper. Because I got no good answers to that. Good. Because we have a very solid answer to this. So, Swift Spear. No, please, not Fane Ripper. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Hmm. Okay, let's play Skull Crack. Now this should be just enough to kill them. Yep, yeah, light up the stage. Yeah, and we could skull crack them again, but we don't need to. Huzzah! Okay, vampires, vampires. Uh, so I quite like searing blood here, because it kills their harvesters and that kind of thing. Um, get lost, I think we need a couple of copies of that. Yeah, maybe we need roiling vortex as well to stop them gaining life. Yep. Okay, nine cuts, nine cuts. I don't know what to cut. So they're probably running Fatal Push, which, unless they're tapped out, makes 
show off a little bit worse. Uh, I quite like... Let's take out Lava Runner. Maybe Wizard's Lightning as well, because we're reducing the number of wizards. And let's just have three roil Roiling Vortexes. Uh, no, no. Eidolon, probably not. That's fine. We're not running Scorching Shot in the sideboard here because we're running... Um... Get Lost instead. Um, but Scorching Shot, which is the new 5 damage to any creature for 2 red, is a pretty clean answer to... Uh... That's fine, we've got a fairly thought seize resistant hand. It's a pretty clean answer to Vein Ripper as long as you have the creature to sacrifice. Well, as clean as anything is an answer to Vein Ripper. Let's have ourselves a Soul Scar Mage. Yeah, they're being very cavalier with their own life total here. Um, though that is a... Uh, we can't get through that at the moment, unfortunately. All of our stuff is a little too expensive. Um... So, I might just plot my show off and say go. If you threaten I will take I oh, do. well, that's a problem. So, I could play Roiling Vortex, that stops them gaining life. But then I don't have an answer for Vein Ripper. Yep. Okay, I want my third get lost. I'm going to trim a light up the stage. Nope. This is only okay, but it's good enough, I think. Just in case we need that upkeep stop. Fine, that could be worse actually. So uh, let's play Vortex. Just casting the show off here and hoping for the best. Okay, that's fine. Good, so let's get that out of here. 
hit for another two. Hmm. It all feels a little rough at the moment, I have to say. Blow up their Fable of the Mirror Breaker. At least they've done themselves two damage here. Just to land is good. I didn't really want to land, but fine. Well, that's not good news. Okay, but they don't want it. Fine. That's interesting, considering that... Hmm, maybe they already have a Vein Ripper. Okay, that's not bad. Um, so let's pass the turn with that in hand. So down to seven, Bone Crusher gets them down to five. Yeah, this is a concern. Well, you're not gaining any life this turn. attack unless they have another creature. And that's risky, because I could have removal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is hoping. So I go to two. <laughs> and that's pretty much the worst possible, so let's play light up the stage. There. Oh, shoot. I can get them to one. <laughs> and then they kill me with Vein Ripper. Is there any way out of this? I don't think so. Uh, if this if that had been like a lightning helix or something, yeah, any of our three three damage spells. Uh... Ah. Ah, 
so close. Never mind. <sighs> Um, I will keep this hack as a draw. So, Swifty Spear. Let's play with fire the opponent. That's fine. Ooh, a cryptic coat. That's fun. Uh, no land is less fun. That's the land. Not quite the one we want, but... It will do. Uh, okay, let's plot a show-off. Swift Spear, Helix their Shacklegeist, this is not actually going terribly now. I think we should attempt to kill their Spectral Sailor. We know they don't have many counter spells available. Excellent. Okay, let's go to combat. Great, well that gives us the option of lighting up the stage. Okay, after a pretty shaky start, we're actually not doing badly here. Swift Spear. Lightning Helix on their Shacklegeist. Down to six. I'm going to light up the stage again. Clear land. Let's keep the train rolling, shall we? <laughs> okay. Double cryptic coat. No, but at least we know now that they're out of other stuff to do, so let's kill one of these. Play pay the ward. Send in the creatures.
Let another light up the stage. Soul Scar Mage in play. So they're on three life now, which is should be enough. Hmm. Well, it's activated Den. Attack with everything. Now they're just dead next turn when I ram an app ruins, so that is a okay. Crypto coat has done some work for them here, but it won't be enough. Excellent. Okay, so I think Eidolon is pretty good here. I like Searing Blood and End the Festivities as well. Uh, what do I dislike? Uh, Lightning Helix is good. Play with Fire is good. A lot of our removal is quite good. I don't think we actually need Skullcrack in this matchup. And I'm going to take out my Bone Crusher Giants as well. I think that will do. On the draw as well, Bone Crusher Giant, just too slow. They've already got three flyers on, on the battlefield by the time you've cast it. So we recovered from a pretty bad hand there. This is a better hand. This is a much better hand. Let's have Lava Runner in play. Reduces the costs of our Wizard's Lightnings. And now, do I want to... I don't know, it's quite tempting to just... Kill their Ascendant Spirit when they try and pump mana into it, which they didn't. Okay, interesting. Well, that's fine. So let's try and kill this out from under the Curious Obsession. Yep, yeah, that's fine, because I'll just do it again. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, it is tempting to play Eidolon here, but I think I should just kill that while their shields are down. It's quite punishing to their life total. Sure thing. Okay, now I want Eidolon in play because it makes them playing Cryptic Coat so much more painful. Where are they? A Geist Light Snare, you say? Right, well, let's send in Eidolon of the Great Revel. Plot our slick shot show off. Take the damage, but uh, learn to live with it.
Yeah, that's fine. I mean... Nice, so let's play another Eidolon. Now I'll just send in my Soul Scar Mage. Yep, that has exactly the same effect. Don't need to play show off yet. Very good. So, as we're playing an aggro deck, we have time for one more. Good, good hand. The old Soli Scar Mage. Ooh, nice. Mm, let's hit the opponent with a stomp. And a play with fire. They could have lightning axe, I suppose, if this is Phoenix, which it looks like it probably is. Yep. Mm, don't need another bone crusher. Okay, their life total is under considerable pressure here. Though Ledger Shredder is going to be pretty tough to get through. Let's plot our show off. I'll just pass the turn. Then Shorf can come down if they get a little aggy with their creatures. Interesting. I'm just going to play a Bone Crusher Giant then and chill. No double spell turn for me yet. Cool. Well, that cost them two life. Treasure Cruise coming back is not good news.
Uh, so it looks like we're uh, probably at a disadvantage here. Don't know how I'm going to get nine damage through at this rate, but let's see. Again, they might get overconfident. Now that is interesting. So let's plot that. Pass the turn. Yeah, it's not impossible. Just very tricky. Now it's now it's pretty much impossible unless they majorly screw up. But I don't think they're going to because they can see my show offs. And now they pick up a lightning axe or something, so Yeah. Yeah. I do not like it. Yeah, okay. So, how are we sideboarding against Phoenix? We're obviously bringing in Eidolon. Uh, Searing Blood's pretty good. Let's have Get Lost as well, just because it can deal with Ledger Shredder. And I'm going to take out Show Off, just because they have so many flyers. Trim a couple of bone crushers. Take out Helix as well. A tough, tough match to sideboard in, I think. Yep, yeah, this is better. Okay, that's fine. Lava Runner. Now they could have Spell Pierce here, but I'm going to assume they're holding a one mana cantrip instead. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's not the best. Okay, they may be land hunting themselves. Yeah, that's pretty good news, so... Get them with the wizard's lightning. Hold up, get lost. For they play a shredder. Yep. Kill that. A skull crack. Well, they're still not through their defences. Okay. Um. Yeah, well, I'll keep it. 
because it does present a must-kill threat. And also killing it does them damage, so... And then any of our spells become lethal. Interesting. That is not a good enough answer yet. So it's presumably they're going to target this with a spell. They'll go to one. Yep. Well, I'll play the land, because then if I draw Ramanap Ruins, it's a lethal threat. This is an instant, so I will wait until they have tapped out. Do I go for it now? Yep. Well, they made that decision for me, at least. So, now we are on the draw. But I don't think we're changing our plans. Don't want a Roiling Vortex. Show off just doesn't get through any of their creatures. Bonecrusher Giant, too slow. Yeah, mm, actually, well, let's trade out a Searing Blood for a Helix. Just because Helix does hit Shredder on the turn it comes into play. Mm-hmm. Skullcrack's been doing some pretty good work for us, uh, this uh, video. Wrong card. Calm yourself, game. Okay, that's pretty neat. So let's have a, another Soul Scar Mage. Anger of the Gods, why? Mr. Landrill. Okay, well, in which case, have it. And again. Yeah, you see, if this was if it was one toughness bigger, I could s hilariously blow them out there. But but it is not, so I'm just going to have to be happy with my lot and hope they don't kill this.
If they can't kill it, my wizard's lightnings are coming back again. Don't touch it. Hands off. Oof. So rude. Well, I'll just have to kill you the slow way then. I mean, I have enough bird to kill them anyway, but I would like another wizard. Hit them to seven. Let's just hold on to all of our various burn spells. Fine. Stump. Play with fire. Mm. Actually, I don't hate Ramanap Ruins here because it lets us double spell. Ugh. Thank God it won't make any difference. Absolute best to cause me a headache here, but uh, fortunately, although they can now hit me for 10 damage, that will not be sufficient. Crack, baby love trap. What? Oof. Okay. They uh, stumbled a little in uh, that last game, but there's the risky run. They kept the big splashy. Wrath without the mana to pay for it. Okay, let's see. Here we have a pack to open. I am actually going to buy another pack here just because it'll get me another golden pack. Normally I just wait and save up all of my coins for the next set, but let's open another pack and then a golden pack. That'll be fun. And he joins up. Good answer to shield with that one. So let's see what's in this golden pack. You two mythics. So we have free strider lookout. Could be a good card. Nah. Another one. Minas Tirith. Khan Legacy Reforge. Okay, Legion Extruder is uh, one to watch. So yeah, keep an eye on that. But yeah, that was Boros Wizards. That was fun. Yeah, probably. I think. Not quite the right build for Slickshot Show Off. I think it probably. Stupid sideboard. I think it probably works a bit better in uh, sort of heroic style strategies where you can just pump so many spells into it. But it was interesting there, nonetheless. Did some good work. Skullcrack did great work. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. As always, hit those like and subscribe buttons. Plenty more Outlaws of Thunder Junction content to come. See you next time.